Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kishore Alapati. I'm a consultant colorectal surgeon working at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills in Hyderabad. Today we will briefly talk about rectal cancer, its diagnosis and treatment. Rectal cancer is basically cancer of the rectum. Rectum is the last 10 to 12 inches of the large intestine where the stool is stored and it helps in evacuating the stools on a daily basis or storing and evacuating the stools on a daily basis. Whenever we have bleeding with the stools, then typically we tend to recommend as medical personnel to get a test called a colonoscopy done wherein we put a camera into the large intestine, take a quick look inside and if we find anything suspicious that's when we take a biopsy of it which means taking a small piece of it to, so that we will be able to look at those cells underneath the microscope. Once if it is concerned, confirmed as a rectal cancer, most important thing for rectal cancer is initially to stage it and then think of the treatment protocol. As opposed to the rest of the large intestine, we usually go for surgery and then after surgery we tend to stage for the rest of the large intestine but for rectum it is very important that we stage it initially and that is what dictates the treatment plan so very important that we do a mri scan of the pelvis which includes the rectum wherein we identify how many layers of the rectum has the tumor penetrated and along with that has it reached into the local lymph nodes around the rectal area or has it reached into the local blood vessels around the rectal area. So if any one of these things are noticed then the stage differs and based on that we come up with the treatment protocol. Uh, for rectal cancer almost always there is a multidisciplinary team that we go through and discuss every single case and based on that we come up with the treatment modality. Classically, most of the patients with rectal cancer would require some amount of chemotherapy and radiation therapy initially and this usually goes on for about 4 weeks or so. After that, for about 6 to 8 weeks, we give a gap wherein the cancer is still being attacked by the radiation therapy. After 8 weeks of completion of radiation therapy, that is when we would recommend surgery to go for rectal cancer. The one most common myth that the general population knows is if it is a rectal cancer, almost always we end up with a colostomy which is like a bag onto the side as a permanent bag. But now with the technology of laparoscopy and robotic technology, permanent bag is almost always or 99.9% .9 of the times we will be able to avoid a permanent bag wherein we will be able to attach the intestines back together. But to make sure that this area heals okay, we create a temporary stoma bag which is called an ileostomy bag, typically for about 6 to 8 weeks at the most and after 8 weeks we tend to put that back inside. So do not carry the myth that you will have a permanent colostomy bag if you undergo surgery for rectal cancer and be strong, be aware of it, get your treatment done and get it done properly. Thank you all.